Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Lenovo Yoga Book 9. In order to set it up, first make sure it's turned on. So if you don't have it turned on, you can just click on this button on the side. It's like on the end of the bottom part because you can see there is the top and the bottom part. And uh, the bottom part has it on the right side, like near uh, to, for facing, uh, not facing you, but close towards you. And um, then I think you can use either of the screens, but sometimes it'll only work on the top one. Um, <clears throat> you just need to select the country or region. So um, I'm going to select maybe the United Kingdom, then click on yes. And now select the keyboard layout or input method and click on yes. If you want to add a second keyboard layout, feel free to do it, but I'm going to skip it. And now you need to connect to a network. So um, if you don't want to connect to a network, then I'm going to show you um, in a different video uh, on how to do it. Uh, but uh, so if you don't want to connect to a network, search for a video on how to set up without Microsoft account. Um, but I think this is like the standard way of doing that. So I'm just going to type in the password. Then let's click on next. <clears throat> and it'll start checking for updates. If it finds any, you don't need to worry about anything. It'll do everything for you. And just we'll just continue to the next step. Then click on accept and name your device if you want, but I'm going to skip it because it requires a restart and I don't want to waste time on that. Now you need to sign in with the Microsoft account. And as I've said before, if you don't want to sign in, then you can watch a video on how to set it up without Microsoft account. But I think it's recommended to just use the Microsoft account um, because it will be needed for a few things. So let's um, just enter the email. Then I'm going to enter the password as well. Okay, let's try again. Now you can also set up the face unlock. So if you want to set it up, just <clears throat> click on yes set up and look straight into your camera. Now it's set up. So let's click on next. 
and create the pin to your user account so you can log in with that. Uh, also, you can include letters and symbols if you want, but I'm going to use only uh, the numbers. And let's click on OK. Now I'm going to click on no um, here, but feel free to select whichever option you would prefer. I highly um, recommend just reading it on your own and selecting on your own. But if you don't really know which ones to select, then I think it's better to select yes in them. So um, you don't have any features disabled. And now if this screen shows, that means that you have a um, backup from another PC or the same PC, but just previously um, on your Microsoft account. And if you want to restore it, then you can continue or click on more options to either select a different backup or click on set up as new PC, which I'm going to do because it makes the setup process faster. Then click on set up as new PC again if you're selecting that option. And now we'll get to the final touches. So right here you can um, select what do you do on your laptop, but I don't think it does anything because uh, besides customizing advertisements. So I'm going to skip it. Then you can also connect your phone to your PC, but I'm going to skip it as well. And you can choose whether or not you want to back up your files. I'm going to back it up and click on next. Then I don't want to back up my phone's photos to OneDrive. So let's skip it, but feel free to do whatever you want. And I'm going to skip importing data from another browser. Then I'm going to decline Microsoft 365 because it costs $130 a, a year and $2 a month for the basic version. So I'm going to decline that as well. Then I'm going to click on next to use only the free features of Microsoft 365. And now it is finishing everything up and it's done. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.